You know how everything is texting you these days? Your dry cleaning is done. You get a text. Your doctor's appointment is in an hour. You get a text. Your car was just stolen or hit or broken into. You get a text. Okay, those last ones are the texts and cars. I just threw them in because, you know, that's what the next story is about. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain and maybe text you. The average American adult sends 32 text messages per day, which equates to 18 billion texts daily just here in the US. Know how many texts you get from your car if something happens to it while you're away? Yep, zero. Car alarms have been first introduced as options on vehicles, and then it wasn't really until the late 80s, early 90s that they were standard options. But after that, things kind of died off in terms of advancement in technology. Husband and wife Marco and Kaylee Manderic were on a business trip in Seattle when they got an idea. It dawned upon us that the rental car that we were in didn't have a way to text me if the car alarm went off. And I started thinking and I talked to Kaylee about it and I said, well, doesn't this feel like something that should exist with cars from the factory floor? Four years later, their idea became a reality. Bumper is essentially smart security for cars. It's a little device that plugs into your diagnostics port in the event of an impact, whether that be a break-in detection, towing situation, you will get an alert to your phone in less than six seconds if your car has been disturbed. I headed to sunny San Diego, California to meet Marco and Kaylee and learn more about their car texting alarm called Bumper which is sensitive enough to detect the balance of a tennis ball. All right, so we're looking at the history of Bumper right here. Where did it all begin? So when we first started working on this four years ago, we had a proof of concept that we built with off-the-shelf hardware. The point was is that you'd be able to flick it and you get a notification on your phone about six seconds later. That's where the breadboard comes in. This is pretty much every component that's found on a Bumper unit today. The board includes GPS, Bluetooth, and even a barometer to detect changes in air pressure inside the vehicle but all of it had to be scaled way down. Now this is actually specifically the first bumper that we plugged into that car and threw a tennis ball at and where that video came from. Oh, wow. Yeah. Even though Marco has technical skills as a visual effects specialist, he needed the help of software engineers to build the app that syncs with the monitor inside the car. Let's right. go ahead and install one of these units real quick. All right. It's as easy as just plugging it in into the diagnostics port underneath your dash. Okay and it's already booting up, going through some installation procedures and a self-check. Uh -huh. The way the system works is that when you walk away from the vehicle, it loses the connection to the device. That arms it. When you walk back, it automatically reconnects to the device, disarming it. Marco set up the app so I could do my own tennis ball impact test. My parents never let me throw balls at our family vehicles, so <laughs> now's the chance to yeah. get that in. Go, take it in. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> All right, that's what happens when you throw a ball in the vehicle, throws it back at you. And there you go. Hey, there we go. That's my low force impact. So I did that. I, I did not leave any marks on your vehicle, by the we'll way. We'll have to look at that later. <laughs>